Vertex AI is the AI platform for both machine learning and generative AI uh, at, at Google. And the company rolled out uh, Thomas Kurian for uh, some updates. Yes, yeah, so we got some updates this week. And look, you know, Pat, I've, I've been impressed from sort of day one, day zero on Vertex. You know, they, they really did set out, you know, heard my whole, uh, you know, diatribe about making it easy, making it simple. Well, look, the part of what the challenge is for the OEMs is that the cloud providers are really ambitiously and, and rapidly working to make these solutions easy to digest and consume in the cloud. Um, of course, the cloud providers are making it connected and accessible to hybrid and on-prem. But you know where the workloads start and end and where AI starts and ends, it's really shifted the entire cloud space. You know, I said the cloud world order has changed in the era of, of AI. Um, you know, I'm still assessing exactly where everything lands, but it's changed. And that's because multi-cloud has proliferated really quickly in the era of AI because different clouds have different capabilities. But we are starting to see companies trying to figure out which tools do they want to standardize on, which environments do they want to build on. And Vertex was compelling coming out of the gate. It's the Google's cloud development platform. And really, what did they focus on this week is, is it focused a lot on grounding, but they're also focusing a lot on sort of these, these enterprise ready experiences and creating higher fidelity, easier to connect. And there's two big things I took away from this week, Pat. One is moving beyond sort of that broad internet LLM search, you know, because Google, of course, has to keep working on grounding and the quality of, of outputs. They've had some stop starts there. But one of the things that they're doing is they're bringing these high fidelity, important data sets that are outside of Google's data, meaning Moody's data uh, from a financial services company, you know, that kind of data being made available, uh, Reuters data, Zoom info data, um, that can be now part of the vertex and the search experience so that enterprises can get more value, higher fidelity answers, and then grounded to the type of outputs that can be trusted. The second thing that they're working on is a um, high fidelity mode. And this, Pat, you talk about RAG, but is the ability for enterprises to start tapping into not just Google's broad available internet search data and the third party data that I just mentioned, but also you can source your information, your own corporate data sets um, to tie to what Gemini um, is doing and tie to what those third party is doing to create the highest quality outputs. Pat, you and I have talked a lot about this, but the winning formula for AI and generative AI has to be a combination of some proprietary data that no one else has coupled with well-designed, accurate language models. And then of course, to what they just did, coupled with other maybe for sale, public, private data sets that can then complement to create the best outputs, what Google is calling highest fidelity. You and I test this stuff regularly. You actually publish these tests from time to time. When you're asking about things like earnings, you're asking about things like company product launches, trying to get to the right answer. You're seeing these things are still not accurate enough for us to trust. Hopefully nobody's writing articles with this crap. I'm kidding, it's not crap, it's good stuff. But you know, because um, it needs accuracy layered on top, Pat. So these are ways to get us to that accuracy faster. Some good steps for Google, appreciated uh, them putting Thomas Curry in forward and, and, and sharing some of this with us. Pat, over to you. Yes, yeah, so this was a great uh, follow-up to Google Cloud Next because a lot of the updates here were, hey, we've taken to the next step, right? It's it's generally uh, available uh, or it's in public preview or if something was teased, um, um, it, it's, you know, in the in the, the, the beta category. But, but their announcements really were about, again, making the results uh, better. Uh, through um, bringing in different data sources. Uh, it was also about lowering uh, cost, right? If you look at Flash uh, as, uh, as an example, um, the, the, the uh, SLA, which is more like a uh, provisioned uh, throughput, and that also hits on capacity uh, and, uh, and price, uh, and also teasing or, or reinforcing that, hey, Google DeepMind, we are keeping the cool stuff uh, coming. And that might be maybe, you know, 
I hate to say this, maybe reactionary to what we saw from OpenAI, who still uh, we haven't seen uh, all of what 4.0 uh, can do. And I know we're not talking about OpenAI here, but I do feel a little bit deceived by uh, what OpenAI showed on stage and what is um, reality right now. One thing that was not a uh, part of this that I do think Google should consider a victory lap is, you know, as I've said very publicly, uh, the front end of my enterprise is Microsoft, like Word and PowerPoint um, and and Excel and, and even Outlook and, and OneNote, but the, the back end is Workspace. And I, I have multiple modalities. Like, for instance, in Gmail, when I want to get through something very quickly, boom, 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 boom. I use uh, a Gmail front end. Oh, by the way, of course, my Outlook front end is is interfacing with with the Gmail back end. But uh, Workspace, Gemini hit all of my Workspace applications. Um, I'm very excited uh, to put more thought into this. It's also into Gmail, by the way. And and if there's something that that could, uh, what's the right word? kick me off of a Microsoft front end and move me to a Google front end could be if Microsoft takes too long to integrate this capability into, let's say, uh, Outlook, right? Where you can go into out. I, I can go into Gmail right now and tell it to get, I literally went in and said, uh, what were all of the announcements that I received this week? And boom, it spit out most of our topics, Dan. Because I had received an uh, email. By the way, that, that was after it was after our conversation of like, what are we going to talk about this week? It was kind of a slow, slow news this week. And they all magically popped in there. I can now put an email in, hey, uh, summarize any uh, deliveries that, that I should have received. And boom, it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. It, it. so, man, there's something there. And Google didn't talk about that, but they should be uh, doing uh, a victory lap on at least... Uh, getting out there. I'm a little underwhelmed with the rag based capability and gosh, just please just put it in my, in, in Explorer where all my files are there. And let me, let me do this on device. 